Hello and welcome to Counterpoint Conversations. My name is Ritesh and I'm delighted to be joined by a special guest from Lenovo to talk about a very interesting topic. We are going to talk about AI in gaming. So please join me in welcoming Ashish Sikha. He's the director and head of category at Lenovo India. Hey Ashish, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ritesh. A pleasure meeting you and hello to all the viewers. Yeah. And I think it's been like a couple of years since we've been talking about AI everywhere, right? Mm. From smartphones to laptops to automotive and now AI in gaming. Right. I mean, it's pretty interesting, right? I'm quite excited to learn more about what Lenovo is doing and how it's leveraging the AI technology to make the experience even greater for you know the gamers so before we dive into that uh, now the gaming industry is pretty niche right right and it has its own challenges so can you first uh, let us know what are the main challenges that they are facing so first of all i think uh, uh, ritesh if we look at it, it it's very interesting that we have been talking about gaming uh, everywhere uh, but we actually step back and look at it gaming was uh, actually the first ones to adopt uh, AI, okay. uh, because of the native GPUs uh, itself, uh, the GPUs already had tops uh, in it and that were being used for various purposes uh, by gamers. Uh, now if we go and look at uh, on the challenges on the gaming side, actually I'll say there are no challenges, it's a land of opportunities yeah. uh, on the gaming side. Uh, this I think uh, in 2022, the gaming market uh, was supposed to be around 2.5, 2.6 billion. And for, as per the latest report, it is supposed to grow at a 27% CAGR. And by 2027, it's a, it would reach around 8.5, 8.6 billion. And as you rightly said, right, uh, gaming is present everywhere. Right. And the good part is, we as Lenovo are proud to be present at all those points of touch. Whether you talk about uh, mobile gaming, uh, uh, we, we, have, we have Moto where we are doing uh, an awesome job uh, in, in launching some new devices. Uh, we have the handheld gaming where we have the Legion Go S, we have the Legion Go. Uh, we have the PC gaming where we have the Legion uh, <coughs> PCs and we have the Lock PCs. And one of the things which we normally miss out is the Legion desktops. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we are actually not a gaming PC brand. We are a gaming ecosystem. And that gets showcased by all the innovations which we bring in uh, in form of gaming monitors, in form of gaming accessories, gaming headsets, uh, and what great work which we have been doing across the ecosystem. A great example of this is actually the Legion uh, Go S as an example. Uh, it's uh, powered by Steam, uh, one of the first devices in, in India to, to, uh, to do that. I think the only uh, challenge uh, which we foresee on uh, on gaming is how fast uh, can we actually innovate and, and right. uh, be at the forefront of, of gaming always. Yeah. So when we talk about AI, how is AI kind of changing the experience on these gaming devices? Uh, so Ritesh, if we look at uh, that, right? Uh, so first of all, uh, when we, we look at gaming, uh, uh, for gamers, uh, AI actually is a bit secondary, if I might say. Okay. Uh, for them, what they first look at is what, what is the performance. Because ultimately what they are doing is the games which they are playing or the titles which they are playing, how does that perform on the device, what they are using. And then how can gaming help them in, in that? And in that aspect, if you look at it and you spoke, uh, uh, we look at that, we have the LA chips on, on our Legion right. uh, devices. Now, LA chip is a physical chip which is present on the motherboard. What it basically does is it, it communicates directly with the CPU and GPU and auto-tunes uh, it. Now, with that auto-tuning, it brings AI into the forefront by ensuring that if your gaming title uh, is CPU hungry or GPU hungry, and able to performance that. So the TDP improves. Secondly, it's able to work and make sure that your laptop is cooler. If your laptop is cooler, the performance automatically becomes better. 
uh, it is able to make sure that the FPS uh, are are optimized. So, so the frames per second are, are optimal. Screen detection is there. So there is a lot of innovation which has come into being because of the LA uh, chip, and we we have those present on on our Legion uh, this thing, uh, Legion series. The other thing which we just recently announced in uh, CS also is something called as Legion Space. We all always had the Legion Space, but right. it is a new and improved Legion Space. So if you're let's say using Lenovo de devices across, right? You have a Legion PC, you have or you have lock, or you have the handheld, you have the monitor. You can actually synchronize all the devices. So what you're doing on one device, you can do it on the other, uh, which are there. You can synchronize your your settings, and then. You you in within that you have gaming uh, avatars uh, which you can do. You can have a gaming companion uh, which is there. You can actually use uh, the gaming zone to quickly upload uh, your content. Uh, so you actually it helps in generative AI content. So you don't have to go through the entire scene. We can use the uh, Legion space itself to cut out the content from this thing and post it on your social media. So we a lot of work on the AI. Uh, forefront is uh, is happening on the gaming side. Great. And it's very interesting because as a gamer, there are quite a few challenges that a lot of people, including me, face. Once that you mentioned that, you know, overheating issues, right? So the cooler the thermals are, you can play longer. And that Absolutely. also affects the battery life as well. Absolutely. Right? Because if you are using a gaming laptop and you want to game on the go, you your battery doesn't last for more than an hour and a half or so, right? Absolutely. So I think the challenge would be how do you use AI to keep it cool, AI to give more frames so that, you know, you don't get that stuttering and all, and also the battery life. So what is the kind of innovation that Lenovo is doing to ensure better battery life as well? Uh, I'm glad you, you touched on that uh, because one of our uh, uh, hit products or the best selling product has been locked. Uh, which we launched in 2024 and one of the differentiating pro uh, points about that product was actually the hyper chamber uh, cooling uh, traditional sense what it makes is that you have more number of vents you have more number of fans if you have right. more number of vents and fans the laptop would be cooler uh, yes but doesn't like you said doesn't yeah. help on the battery life front because then you need to power so many fans right. Uh, suddenly you're playing the game, your hands are on the side, you'll feel hot air coming out, right. you'll not be able to play, uh, right? Uh, so what we did was basically we reduced first the fans, uh, the vents from 4 to 2. Okay. And then what we did was in hyperchamber cooling, we actually uh, seal the area of maximum heat. And there are two fans there which rotate in the opposite direction. Okay. So instead of making, if... Traditionally, the fans, if they rotate in the same direction, the same hot air will keep on circulating and instead of getting contained, it actually spreads to the region. In this case, it actually gets thrown out. So, couple of things, because you are using less number of fans, the vents are on the back, you don't face the problem of that, uh, right. of, 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 of getting heat from the side. And the other is, it is, used, it is producing less noise, your TDP becomes better, your laptop becomes almost, I think, 2 degrees uh, cooler, the performance becomes uh, better you, and you, uh, you end up using less uh, battery. Right. And you also touched upon the software aspect of it, right? Mm. With the Legion space. I think that's a very interesting implementation because I was testing the Legion Go and typically what happens is when you are downloading games, you are downloading from Steam, from Rockstar Games and everywhere. Yeah, right. And when you want to play a certain game, you have to either open that app or this app and then find and play, right? But with Legion Space, you have all your games, all your titles at one place, right? Absolutely. And it also gives you a lot of customization options as well. So, yeah, I think that was pretty interesting implementation as well from Lenovo. I think you have summed it up better than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And uh, now when we talk about all these games and gaming laptops. I think there is one other aspect and that's the community side of it, right? Because you have gamers, they are kind of having some, you know, great ideas as well. So are you kind of, you know, taking their feedback as well as to what issues they are facing or 
what ideas they have and then incorporating it into the product lineup? Uh, absolutely, Ritesh, we are, we are doing that. And I'll, I'll share with you a few data points, points on that, right? We, we spoke about how stupendously gaming as a market is going. Uh, one key point in all of this is that 79% of gamers are actually below the age of 24. Oh. Uh, and a lot of them are obviously uh, students. Right. Uh, so when you look at a gaming uh, laptop, a gaming laptop, obviously you can have gaming laptop for, for competitors, which is where uh, lock comes in, our high-end legion comes in. But then there are student gamers. A lot of them are student gamers. And today what is also happening is uh, gaming as a profession is now getting... Uh, accept it. Uh, it's not like maybe uh, 10 or 15 years back, hey, you're only playing games on PC, you're not doing uh, anything else. Right. Today, it is a legitimate profession which people look up to. Uh, the fact that people want to uh, it's a content that. creation it, tool as well it, because people are streaming their games live. A, a, absolutely, it is. It is, uh, right? And in fact, a lot of people today uh, talk about that how they want to be gamers or how they want to be influencers or how they want to do better on, on, on social media. So when we look at our, how we build up uh, the gaming devices, actually it's a very iterative uh, process. So we obviously keep on doing the service etc. But the interesting point is we actually get uh, people to come and sit with our gaming developers, with our R&D team. And they directly give feedback on what is maybe working, what they are looking at, uh, how uh, the uh, how the Lenovo's gaming ecosystem should evolve. And basis that feedback, we actually build products. And once we build something, we again do the same sit-down uh, session. And actually, this is a two, three-day workshop. We people from India also go and people from US, uh, all America, China, all across the world. Uh, they join for these uh, workshops. And basis that iterative process, we are able to actually get to the devices uh, which are there. And that's also the reason that, like you, you spoke about the Legion space, right? Yeah. So we actually got the same feedback that, hey, I'm, I'm using a handheld, I'm using a console, I'm doing this. But every time I have to do se something different, I have to look for my gaming title. Right. Separately, I have to look for my, your, your different gamer this thing might have different RGB settings. Right. As simple as that, if you're playing different games on different things, you end up doing different RGB settings and spending time uh, doing that. So a lot of innovation has actually come in uh, because of that. Uh, the other feedback, and uh, not all across, but one of the feedbacks what we got is, hey, I want a gaming device which is very good at gaming, but it should not scream a gamer. <laughs> Okay. Because we, like students. Very right? minimalistic design. Yeah, minimalistic right. device while delivering on the gaming, uh, this thing. Uh, if I am a student and I am using the same laptop for my gaming and I am going and attending classes, I don't want my laptop to screen gaming to my professor. Right. Because I will be viewed differently. Right. That's a diff But we actually worked on that. We said, hey, what is important to gaming? We, we spoke about cooling. We spoke right. about battery life. We spoke about how performed... So, having these lights, etc. around the laptop might not be that important, but having a laptop which delivers on the performance, while at the same time, people are able to carry to their classrooms, is an important parameter. Right. So, that's how we worked uh, on that. Uh, Legion Go S is another great example. We got a lot of feedback that, hey, why don't you have anything on Steam OS? Right. Uh, there, there's so many titles available. It's maybe one of the largest communities uh, out there. And that's how Legion Go S also came into uh, yeah. viewing so and maybe we'll get feedback from some from you your viewers and we'll keep on working on on these and come on keep on coming out with new innovations great and when it's about streamlining the os right to ensure consistent experience whether it is you know uh, irrespective of the chipset or a gpu provider right and then you have developers so how do you match those synergies to ensure a consistent experience, whether your laptop is having an Intel CPU or a AMD CPU and so on. So, uh, uh, the LA chip and the Legion space are like two great examples uh, of this. Uh, you use it on an Intel based uh, Lenovo laptop, you use it on an AMD based Lenovo laptop, you will get the same uh, performance uh, output. Uh, the LA chip will ensure your TDP is maximized, it will ensure your noise is reduced, it will 
ensure that your uh, your pooling is is, is maximum uh, so all credit to our our uh, design team and obviously for for all our customers for sharing the the feedback so that we are able to work on uh, these technologies and get the best of experiences out great and i think before we wrap up i have one last question a gaming laptop is powerful right but beyond gaming what are the other use cases that you are seeing both from the ai front and the laptop front i think one of the things which you all already spoke about is, is students uh, right that whether you are a stem student or an art student if you are a gamer a gaming laptop is not only a gaming laptop it's also a performance pc right uh, what you are using similarly when you look at let's say a monitor a gaming monitor gaming monitor is not a monitor only it's it's about a high visibility right. monitor a high definition uh, monitor uh, so in fact a lot of people nowadays when when they come into uh, in, into our stores into our lenovo exclusive stores or we get feedback on lenovo.com uh, the the feedback is hey i might not be a gamer but i want a performance uh, laptop and at that time the safest bet is actually a gaming laptop right. because you know that it would uh, perform and in fact one of the things which we have also been able to do is actually provide ctu uh, the, the custom to order on on gaming laptops in fact we are maybe the only ones i'm, I'm not sure if others are doing it or not but we definitely are, are doing it in a in a big way for for our customers to ensuring that uh, custom to order is is out there they can choose the processor which they want the gpu they want the display what they want the os uh, what they want and uh, the service is what they want uh, with that to make sure that it is not only a gaming laptop but can be used for various purposes and obviously within gaming itself there are different personas right there would be uh, student gamers there would be uh <clears throat> competitive gamers there would be high rollers uh, right. which would be there and we have devices and the ecosystem which cater to uh, to all of them great i think that's about it we can go on and on but i think for this conversation i think this was pretty much interesting so thank you for taking your time out and you know joining us on the counterpoint conversations thank you ritesh thank you.